Hey guys, this is a haptic control demonstration video. My friend Pablo from Random Access Projects has created a trend within the brushless robotics community about haptic control and we've seen a few video demos from other guys such as Simple FOC, MJ Bots, Sky Scientific and a few others and I decided to show my take on it. For this demonstration I'm using the Dagor brushless controller which allows me to set a wireless virtual link between these two motors at an update rate of 300 Hz which I find is appropriate for this type of demonstration. What is happening here is if I move the motor on the right, the motor on the left will try to follow and this is the same if I move the motor on the left, the motor on the right will try to follow. The control algorithm is trying to maintain the same position between two of the motors. If I move the motor on the right until the pointer on the left collides with the table, I will feel that on the motor on the right. And as you can see, it won't allow me to turn it any further. Because what I'm creating is a force feedback or a torque fe feedback between one motor and the other. If I, for example, put my finger and stop the pointer on the left, I will now feel that um, collision with the motor on the right and if I suddenly let go, I can feel that with the motor on the right. This is interesting because I could be completely oblivious to what is happening with the motor on the left and still feel what is happening with the motor on the right. This type of um, control can have a few applications and Pablo from Random Access Project has a great video on how this can be used to steer a car through software instead of having a mechanical connection between the steering wheel and the steering rack. He calls this system steer by wire and with my setup I would like to call it steer by wireless because of the wireless communication. Another application I can think of are medical surgery robots because having haptic feedback on the controller could help a doctor navigate tight spaces and avoid collisions. We're going to call the right motor the control motor and the left motor the follower motor. What I did here was increase the stiffness on the follower motor and decrease the stiffness on the control motor so I can be able to move the wheel with just a little bit of force. If I let go the controller motor, the wheel will drop because of its weight. And as you can see, with just one finger, I am able to move the wheel to the other side. I added a same size pointer to the motor on the right just to make it a little bit more evident what is happening with it with this type of telepresence or haptic control. If you can think of another application of this type of control, I, I would be very happy to read it in the comments below. If you're interested in learning more about the Dagger Brushless Controller, there's going to be a few links in the description.